Chief of the British Army, General Sir Patrick Sanders, has suggested that conscription could be introduced in Britain in the event of a NATO war against Russia. Well, good luck with that, mate. Good luck conscripting white working class men to fight your NATO war when every major institution in this country has spent the past decade using the cult of diversity and inclusion to discriminate against and attack them. I suspect they'd sooner fight for Russia at this point. Not that the Russia-Ukraine conflict has got a damn thing to do with the UK anyway. NATO wound up Putin by developing increasingly closer relations with Ukraine. Putin responded militarily. And now the whole thing's a big mess that plenty of soulless globalists are making money out of, rubbing their hands with glee about and happy to prolong indefinitely. What's that got to do with the British people who've already been betrayed by a government of globalist shills? who turn this country into a cross between a transport hub and a public toilet for economic migrants. Why on earth would young British working class white men fight for a government that's destroyed this country's culture, heritage and way of life? A country that now wants to demonise them every turn as toxic, racist, sexist bigots. A country that hates them. There's not a chance in hell. Like everything else in this country, conscription should be based on equality and diversity quotas. It's only fair. Get a bunch of transgender autistic midgets and disabled Eritrean asylum seekers to fight your insidious money-grubbing globalist war for you. See how far you get with that winning team. Decent working people in this country have been absolutely robbed blind by the inland revenue for years, only to see their money spaffed up the wall on foreign conflicts benefits for illegal boat migrants and lavish contracts for the dodgy mates of corrupt Tory ministers to provide shoddy goods and threadbare services as the entire country falls into a state of dysfunction and disrepair. The people who were born in this country, whose ancestors built this country, the people who've seen their culture and heritage destroyed by mass uncontrolled immigration to satiate the greed of the business owning elite. These people do not owe this country a damn thing. And if they did want to fight for this country, how on earth could they trust the dross of Generation Z, non-binary, bedwetting, self-obsessed, work-shy human detritus that would be stood alongside them? I'll tell you what, if you want to conscript anyone, start by conscripting the sons and daughters of the odious civil servants and politicians that have plunged this country into the gutter. Please do like and subscribe and support me on Patreon for exclusive content every week. I'm doing live stand updates in Southampton, Southend, Ilkley and Nuneaton. Tigger links beneath this video. Thanks for watching.